Welcome to WXTV, your online source for weatherization training. This episode is part of our mobile home series. We're going to head to North Dakota and learn from some of the best, Cal Steiner and his crews. The technique that we'll focus on for this installment is insulating the attic space by drilling through the roof. Hi, I'm Dale Barth, Dickinson, North Dakota, Community Action. Uh, we're doing a top roof blow. Uh, we're going to start out with, with basically, uh, we're going to uh, clean the, the illumination off of the, off the tin so we can get down to get a good seal on our patch. Then from there, we're gonna drill holes in here. In between each, each rafter, we're finding those by basically stepping on the rafter and drilling in the center. We want to stay away from belts like this here, so go probably, and then stay away from your rafter, probably right about in there. Okay, from there we uh, get through. You got the top layer of fiberglass, the vapor barrier, and then we got it at the least a six inch to eight inch cavity inside there. And from there, we're sticking the tube in. We're going both ways underneath uh, or in the cavity, uh, filling them with, uh, we're using Insel Pink on this particular job. He's uh, easing his inch and a quarter tube all the way over to the uh, outside and starting up from there. One thing a person wants to watch as you're filling to make sure that inside on the ceiling, that the ceiling is uh, uh, good that it's not being uh, pushed out or anything. You want to make sure your fill is is about right. You, you know, we basically have somebody inside kind of doing work in there while keeping an eye on things, you know, ceiling and stuff to make sure hopefully we don't have any problems. He's kneeling on a one by eight to kind of distribute his weight across the rafters so as not to put all the weight in one area. While we're up here, we uh, visually check any uh, cracks. Sometimes you'll, the, the furnace flue uh, cap will, will be rusted through. Another thing we look for is the flue pipe, or I mean the uh, vent pipe, sewer vent pipe where it comes up. This is a sure leak here. Uh, one thing you want to remember is when you see something like this here to make sure you patch it because once you're up here, we basically, we uh, own these these mobile homes or the house you're working on. And other spots are like here where the water's settling. Uh, you got runoff, you got an addition here. We want to seal that real good and make sure that's all good, that we don't have any leaks along there. Here's another spot over here on the tin that is lifting up. A seal like that. Want to make sure you get all these spots like that because, like I said, once you're up here, you own it. One thing we want to make sure of is uh, as we're drilling the holes, a lot of times these older mobile homes have a ridge down the center and you have to drill two sets of holes, one on each side of that center board because you can't get past with your tube. This particular one does not have any ridge inside there, any ridge board inside, so we're able to drill one set of holes and blow both ways on it per cavity. Other times, if they have a lot of room inside there, uh, you can drill one hole and blow an area. We call it kind of going shooting around the clock. You start out at 12 and go all the way around an area, go down like six feet, drill another hole, and make sure you're catching all your areas and stuff, but you, know, you can get by with less holes like that. Okay, what he's going to do here is he's going to lay a bead of Dimonic around the outside of the hole. Take a plastic plug, two and a half inch plastic plug, put it around there. Kind of finger it around there a little bit, kind of get a good seal on it. Then we take the peel and seal patch. Uh, we use probably about eight by eight area. Get it underneath the underneath the uh, area here 
anything try and stay away from any seams like this here or whatever try and get your you know in between the uh the rafters okay and we're just gonna lay that on there do another one here Okay, then we'll take the torch. Just heat that up just a little bit there. We take a piece of fiberglass, kind of ball it up a little bit more there, Dwayne. test it afterwards that's actually pretty good go to the next one we'll let that cool down if you can walk up to that patch afterwards and uh, peel up uh, peel it up at all it's not good enough it will fail on you I think it's gonna be pretty good though. That's actually pretty good. Let's just hit that with a little more heat right here and that'll actually be good. Then after these here, after we put all these patches down like that, we come along after that and uh, rapid roof the entire uh, patches and all the seams around all the flues, the any mushroom vents, any areas like along the outbuildings or additions, uh, around the flue pipes, like around here, and then make sure you catch all your seams and any spots that you think might leak, get them. Because like I said earlier, once you uh, walk up here or start in up here, it's basically your trailer from there on. So do the best you can. Well, that's it for this episode of WXTV. Be sure to check out the other episodes in this series on mobile homes, where we insulate the attic space by lifting a lid and by blowing insulation from the interior. And thanks for watching. WXTV, your online source for weatherization information, techniques, and expert advice.